it is finally done. Horsal Servo is more or less complete now, and we've up well, got on version 1.1. Um, and this version has the website working, and it has the game itself working. So all we have now is basically just any bugs we might find to be fixed, maybe make it a bit more user friendly at some point. But for the most part, this is it, right? So I did make a video on how to do this earlier, but now it's outdated, so um, it doesn't work anymore for the latest version. So <laughs> we're gonna redo that in this video. So this is how you can set up and install Horsal Servo or HISP version 1.1. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to download the latest HISP. You can either use a Night Yee, which is updated every single time I commit anything, which might break some stuff. Or if you want something more stable, you can just use the release here. I'm going to use this. So you'll see it will load up this page, tells you all about it, and tells us that we broke compatibility with 1.0 databases. Yeah, it happens. Um, so we're going to download the Windows X64 if you're on F32, but you can use this. If you're on a different OS, you can use these, but the install method will be slightly different. So we're going to use um, Windows. I'll get that download. We're also going to download the ThreadSafe version of PHP x86. I need that. Okay, got it. Um, and now we're going to need Apache for Windows as well. And we're going to the x64 version of that as well. We're going to download it from Germany, just cause. Um, yep. Okay. Now Mario DB. This is the database that we're going to be use that the server uses. So MarioDB Servo 16, Windows, x 664 MSI package. This is all good. Just gonna hit download on that. Okay. So now I'll be back to you once this is all downloaded and we'll show you what you do with it. So we're going to install MarioDB. So we're just going to click on this. And this Windows install will pop up. And we'll go accept. And we want to install entire feature for all of these. Like that. And now we'll set a password. And we will select this option here as well, which will make profiles work properly. I'm going to open Hedy SQL. I'm going to enter the password for our user in here and hit open. Alright, and now we're going to create two databases. The first one is for the master site. Um, so I'm also going to call it master. And the second one is um, you can have as many game sites as you want. So these are for the access the second ones for the game itself. I'm just gonna have one for this because I don't need to make two. But this would be game one, right? So we've got um, this one here is the master, it controls all of them and then it controls all games. So game one first server. So we've got two of these now. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to extract this win x64, extract, and this is the servo itself. So we're going to um, start this up and we'll see all this. 
you just want to open the horsell server.exe and it will just crash immediately. This is expected. It's crashing because it cannot connect to the SQL database. See how it's access denied for user root at localhost. This is because it doesn't know your password. So you have to open up server.properties in here and this is the main configuration file for your server. You see here right now the password is test123. You just want to change that to your actual password which in my case is test password free best password free um, you can change you can change some of these other things if you want like if you don't want a um, swear filter you can just change this to false lowercase false um, so you don't want it to correcting lol to fir you can change this one um, change it you can just turn all of these off if you want um, and then you won't have any chat filter at all basically you can change the interest rates you can enable some extra debug information and a few other things you can also change the um, red text so it says like today's notes when you first log in change it to whatever you want um, you know let's make it I got my own server. Alright, so, but the most important thing you must change is you must change these details to match your actual database. Uh, well, and the DB name is not beta, it is game one. Okay. So, that is all for that. So, next you just want to start the server. Again, and this time it should actually start up. I open two of them again like an idiot. And we'll see if it starts up. Okay, and you see here it's now created. It's now saying um, unknown table, game one online users, that's normal. Okay, and it is now starting up. And this part will take it will take a bit to start up for the first time. That's what it's going to do. Is it's going to generate every dropped item on the ground. Um, and this takes a while when you've got no dropped items on the ground already. But once this is done, this will never take this long ever again. Okay, so once it's done, you will see this message come up. It will say waiting for new connections and if it's your first time ever running this, it will ask you to allow yell through the firewall, make sure you do that, otherwise it won't work. So yeah, this just means it's able to connect out to other people on the internet. So, um, so yeah, that's it for the server side of things. So now let's get working on the website. So for that, I'm actually just going to close this because it will probably seal down my computer. We'll just open it again once we're done. So I'm going to extract HTTPD. This is a web server. To extract it here. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to head over to this PHP folder. I'm going to take php.ini production. Copy paste it. Rename it to just php.ini. Okay, and now we're going to edit this in the PSPS. We're going to want to enable a few modules. So, oh, sorry, extensions they're called. I forgot what they're called. Let's go down three, four. Okay, so I see them here. So I want to enable INTL. MySQLI, and I believe there's another one. OpenSSL, um, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably all of them. So, 
save that. And now we want to open up um, HTTP. We want to rename this folder actually first to PHP. And we just want to move it to the root of the C drive. Okay, and now we want to um, rename this to Apache. Like so. We want to move this to the C drive as well. Okay, so I'm going to open the Apache 2 folder. Oh, actually, this is the one that should be on the local disk C. Sorry about that. That's the file you want on your C drive, this one. Okay, so in here you now have this bin folder, and then inside this bin folder, you have a http.exe folder file. But first, you want to edit a config file, so you want to go into conf. Okay, I want to edit httpd.conf. Alright, and you see this code here. The more yes, you want to copy this code and just toss it at the bottom. Like, of this file. Like, round the other. Um, load modules if we can. Right, okay, like right about here. Let's put this in there. Okay. You might have to change this path to the if you if the PHP version is newer, you might have to change this file. But I think it's just still APIs. So then you also want to open um search for vhosts. And you want to uncomment the CI to enable virtual hosts. Okay. So next, you want to go to your Apache 24 folder and inside htdocs, you can remove this and you can create new two new folders. One for game sites, right? Game one for game one, so the first game site, and then another one for the master site. Alright, and now what we want to do is we want to open the comp folder, go to the extra folder, and then httpd-vhosts.conf, edit this file, now you want to just uncomment this. And type in the doc where document is root. Where you want to go to slash htdocs slash master. This one can be the master site. The server name. If you have a domain name, then you want to put it in here. This will be the domain for the master sites, maybe like master the or something. If you own that domain, if you don't own a domain or you just want to do it on the local, you don't really care about setting up an actual server people on your your access, then just type in whatever. So like master dot horse, right? Um, and we can have a server alias of www.master.horse. All right, and now we want to do the same for game one. This is going to copy this line. I guess change these ones as well. I guess we can just use the default um, 
Yeah, we'll just use the default we are getting, we'll just ignore that. Uh, <laughs> just fixing up this config a bit, there's a few things here don't necessarily matter, but be nice to have work. Okay, it's a mess of So now I'm going to change the second virtual host to be game one dot horse. Game one. And you can repeat this for as many game servers as you want to have. So now we've got these. So now if we head over to this htdocs folder, we've got these two here in here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually extract the two files from in here. So you see that in here there's a www folder and there is a game site and a master site. So you want to copy all the contents from this master site into your htdocs master, paste it all in here, okay, and now we'll go back to here, win, www game site, and this is the actual game assets themselves, so if you want to mod the game, you want to be interested in doing that, that's the files you need to modify, are the ones in the game site server, so, go okay so now what you want to do is edit master site you'll see this config.php you just want to edit that okay and you want to change the db name to whatever your database for your master site was which was actually correct this time password you make it the same password as before you set on your database so test password free um, this is a PayPal emulator, don't worry about it unless you're trying to make money off your server or something. Um, but once in there it's fine, it works. So now X is HMAC secrets. Um, so you want to basically generate a, it's basically a special password that's known only to your server and no one else must know it or they can hack anyone's account. So it's just type in a type in a bunch of nonsense in here and save it. The next file you want to edit is um, servers.php. This is the list of all servers. So this is going to be called game1. The icon that can be beta gif. Um, if you want to know what icons there are, you just open the web folder and then server icons and it's referring to the files in here. So you can change this to say bay.gif to make it look like the bay server. Um, I'll change the database game one and the sites will be in our case game one dot horse and you can write a description in here if you want so you like say YouTube tutorial server um, and now that will show up as the description on here so you're now done with the master and you can go to each game site now And you can change this DB name to game one. Actually, did I type the database and create a game one? Uh, and now this can be changed to your actual database password. So test password three. Um, server ID, make it the same as it was before. Um, the master site, you want to set to whatever your master site domain was. So master horse okay and now your hmac secret should be the same as it is on f on the game site
I mean, on the master site. And this exchange rate is um, for the PayPal stuff. So basically the way I solved that was I made it so you could buy stuff using in-game currency. Um, you could program it to do whatever you want if you want to actually make people pay money, but I am not going to implement that. So um, basically the way it works is that this much um, wholesale money is worth one US dial. And so whatever the US dial price is, is this many times that. So you can make this more, you can make it yes, I'm going to leave it the default, but that's what that's for. Oh, and all users' subs subs should replicate the same value in server.properties. If it doesn't, then it's going to show some inconsistencies on the site. So yeah, config.php. Alright, so you're done for that now. So now you can actually start this um, httpd.exe. Now, here's where if you had a domain name, you could just open Chrome and go there. But because we don't, we have to tell Windows that we want master.horse, or oh yeah, also a oh yeah, the firewall, um, interrupting me while I was trying to explain the next step that might not be a step for you, depending on how you do this. But if you don't have a domain name, which, you know, assuming you don't, um, then you have to tell Windows to treat r.horse and mass.horse as a domain name that points to your computer. So to do that, you want to go to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash drivers slash etc. And here, there is a file named hosts, which you can edit in Notepad. Okay, and you want to head over here and add an entry saying 127.0.0.1, which is the IP address that refers to your current computer. And then master the horse. And then 127.0.0.1. Game one dot horse. Okay. And now you need admin permissions to write to this file, so we'll just do that. Okay, and now if you have this running, you can now open up Google Chrome. And go to http colon slash slash master horse as if it's a website oh yeah there we go okay this is what you'll see um because <laughs> you'll do it properly first try um okay so now you can this looks like the normal um site and you can also go to game one dot horse and this will look like the uh this will look like the um the game site and if you can click on this and it'll take you back to this page, so this is, you know, exactly like the horse our website, you can go create your account, and you can go yeah, out far the walls and whatever. Okay, sure, set the questions, and then you can do all these questions, or you can just skip it by going to the chat point up here and changing it to 12. Alright, there we go, accept, yeah, yeah. Now, um, this server won't actually send out emails, so you, you can enter basically anything as an email, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, I'm going to type in my username, Silco and Peanut. I'm just going to actually just going to do Silco because I can, because I'm the only one who has who's on the server. We'll see a bunch of suggested names on the right. So yeah, we'll make it username. Okay, and now we'll enter an email. I'll just do my actual email. I'll make my country correct as well. Um, age, sure. Um, my favorite cartoon character. I mean, technically it's not a cartoon, but I'll go with it. All right, yep, I accept the rules, I accept this. And it will tell you it will send you an email, but it actually won't. Um, I haven't coded that in. You need, you need to run a mail server for that to work, and that's I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, 
So right now any it will just automatically be activated to you. Let's see you again. And you will see over here you are now logged in. But before and you'll see here the description as well. But what you actually want to do right now is actually log out and you want to make this user an admin. So to do that, you want to head over to your database. Log into that. And now you'll see this here for game one, this huge database of everything that was in there. And inside so this master, there was now this other database. So you want to open up the users and head over to data. And now you'll see this is the information for your user. And so you can head over here to admin and you don't want to change this from no to the word yes, all capitals. And do the same for moderator, yes. Okay, click off, and now if we log back in, now we are an admin. So we can also, um, you think we can go to the forms, and we can see the moderator exclusive forms. We can go to the game forms, you can add a form, we can do all this stuff, we, if we're an admin, we can go to the news and we can actually post to the news. So, yeah. Um, and so, we'll also be able to join a server from here. So, I did I ever implement this? I don't actually know if I implemented password changing. I won't, won't try that. Um, I know this doesn't work though. But, so here we go. We'll just click join, no existing profile. We'll click join on this. And okay, there we go. So, you'll see here I'm not subscribed, but if I want to subscribe, I can click on this PayPal thing, and it actually tells me I'm not on the server, that's because I've never logged in. So, here we are on the account page, alright, and we see over here, um, we are definitely logged in, we've got nothing here, and we can click on this, and if we have Fiash, this will work, but because we don't have Fiash, this just tells us to get Fiash, but obviously you can't do that anymore on Chrome. So you're probably wondering, Silco, how do I actually join the server? Well, for that, there are two things. First, the server has to actually be running, so at the moment it is not, and if I closed it, so you just start it, you just want to open this, horsestyle server.exe. So you just want to wait for the say waiting for connections, and that means the server has started up. Okay, so here it says waiting for connections, and you can go to http colon slash slash game one dot horse or whatever your domain is slash horse aisle dot swift question mark server equals and then your server's domain. So again, game one dot horse and port equals whatever the port you set in server properties was. So you see that here, um, and it's also reflected in here as well. So one two three two one is the default port that Horsal uses on its beta server, and so that's why I used it here on on the um on the Horsal officials um like game servers that aren't the beta. It actually uses four four three, but that's in direct conflict with SSL and TOS, so I don't use four four three. And the game will now load up.